Hi, my name is Lily Gibson. I'm 17 years old. And today I'll be singing Omar Sharif from the band's visit. And I really wanted to sing this today because it really inspires me and I was really inspired when I saw it on Broadway. And I think it's a song that shows the beautiful connection of art through music, film, yeah. Came floating on a jasmine wind From the west, from the south Honey in my ears, spice in my mouth Dark and thrilling, strange Cleopatra and the handsome he And they floated in on a jasmine wind Um Kaltum and Omar Sharif And they floated in on a jasmine wind Um Kaltum and Omar Sharif Friday evening, Omar Sharif In black and white and blurry through tears My mother and I would sit there in a trance He was cool to the marrow, the pharaoh of romance Sunday Welcome to the premiere of the fifth season of the IJ Lobby Lounge. I'm Paul Liberator, and I'm here with Lily Gibson, who, Hi. who just treated us to uh, a couple of gorgeous songs, not the kind of music you hear every day, one song in Spanish, uh, and the other one, um, uh, a Broadway-type uh, song, Omar Sharif, gorgeous. And um, so can you tell me, you, you, you were obviously, you can see the way you sing, you've been, you've been trained and you get a lot of the training at ACT, right? That's Whether correct, theater. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about that, how yeah. that's been for you? So ever since I was really little, I've been taking 
classes, doing summer intensives with ACT. And since um, 2014, I have been a part of their cabaret ensemble. And for those who don't know, ACT is the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, one of the top training programs in the country. Um, yeah, so I've been training in their cabaret ensemble, which is a singing and acting program. I've done various intensives with them. I've worked with you know the head of ACT, Craig Slade, and Jill McLean. And um, I'll be in their upcoming production of Anonymous at the Strand Theater as well with the Young Conservatory. And it's been just incredible to grow up learning with ACT. It's been a great, great honor. And I'm so, so lucky that I've been able to work with them for so many years. And Anonymous starts in March, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it, it starts in March and will perform uh, mid-April. And t tell, me, tell me a little bit, tell us a little bit about uh, what it's about. It's very relevant today. Mm. So. Can you just uh, fill yes. us in a little bit about so it? So Anonymous will um, be at the Strand Theater in April, and it's by Naomi Itsuka, and it's an adaptation of the Odyssey through the life of a refugee. And it's very poignant, and it has a lot of movement. It's very contemporary, but I think it couldn't be more relevant. And it's really, really a beautiful piece, and it's about um, a kid named Anon, therefore anonymous, okay. um, and his journey, who he meets, and his way to finding his mother. And it's very, very moving and very beautiful, and I suggest you guys come out to ACT in April. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to make it for sure. And yeah. um, you've also been doing a round of you know, looking at some colleges right on the yeah. East Coast. We're lucky to have you here, actually, because you've been so busy doing that, and also doing some auditions. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about what's that what's yeah. meant for you? So um, I am a senior in high school, technically, and I'm looking uh, to going to college in the fall, um, hopefully, <laughs> going to college for acting. And so I had to do auditions for different theater programs for different schools. So the auditions take place in New York, LA, and Chicago. So two days ago, I got back from doing the first round of auditions in New York. And they went really, really well, super exciting. And then um, in about a week and a half, I'll head off to LA uh, to do the rest of the auditions. And then one more in San Francisco, and I'm done. It was, it's definitely a lot, but the auditions are just so much fun. They're so exciting because you get to meet the faculty from the program, and they're so excited to meet you because they're so excited to form a new class and see what's out there. So it was really, it's definitely nerve wracking. It's not easy process and it's stressful, but I just had so much fun. And you just have to go in there and be yourself and be, you know, proud of the work that you did. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're much more than just a singer and an actor. I was talking to your mother about some of the other things that you do. You're, he you're heading for the Dominican Republic. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing there? Yeah, so I'm going to the Dominican Republic on a trip that's through my high school, but it's by a, a program called Rustic Pathways. And it's a sustainable living trip where we get to learn about how to live off the grid and how to live sustainably in the 21st century and work with uh, kids in the Dominican Republic who have an eco club. We get to do some restoration. We get to, you know, see the beautiful sights. So I'm really, really looking forward to that, to getting out of my comfort zone. It's something that I never thought would be up my alley, something that you know, being in the forest, hiking, being with nature, <laughs> something that I never would thought I would do, but I'm so, so excited and get to meet my host family. I'm so excited, so yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you took time to be with us here tonight. Me too, I it's had a great been, time. It's been a pleasure to have you, and I think all of our uh, Lobby Lounge audience will really enjoy your, your performance, and to see you in April, April yes. 3rd, uh, at the uh, Showcase Theater in Lobby Lounge Live. So. Thank you again, Lily. It was Thank beautiful you, having you here. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.